let's talk about the normal distribution. Normal distribution look like symmetric bell or whether within bell curve. It have a highest probability in the middle and it split out with the cross probability as it move away. Technically, it's continue in the finital in either direction, but the probability are almost significant within three standard deviation below and above. The area between one standard deviation below and above correspond to 68% and the area between two standard deviation below and above correspond to 95%. The function that generate this curve is this one. In the real world, we have many events that follow normal distribution, like height and weight. Every time that we have to use normal distribution, we have to standardize the data. And the format that we use to standardize this data is this one. Let's have an example. We have a test score that range from zero to 100. What is the probability of student get less than 62 points. These data are not standardized. We have 50 min, 12 for standard deviation, and we have 62 as our limit. So we need data in the left side. When we apply this data to the formula, we find that the uh, 62 corresponds to one standard deviation in standardized normal distribution area. Our error would be all left side area until one how to get this area with this number we can go to the normal distribution table and get this area. here we have a normal distribution table uh, right tail we have one so one is this number 0 0.8413 we apply and in percentage this area correspond to 84.13 percent here we have an example that can help us understand the different cases. The test scores of an exam are normal distributed with a mean of 50 and a standard deviation of 10. What is the probability that a random selected test score is less than 40? Here we have our mean standard deviation. We apply to the formula and we get Z negative 0 0.83. We need the probability of random selected test score is less than 40 and uh, standard uh, standardized is uh, negative 0 0.83 let's go to the normal distribution table and here we can find this uh, probability and this area corresponds to 20.3 percent what is the probability that a random selected test score is between 45 to 65 now we have two cases we we'll have to find the first standardized value for 45 and the 65. This area between will be the area that we need. Standardized value are negative 0 0.42 to 1.25. In normal distribution table, we have to pick here two values. The first values is in the left side for negative 0 0.42 and second value for 1.25. Uh, the difference between this area corresponded to 55.7%. What is the probability that a random selected test score is greater than 68? We have here a mean 50, standard deviation 12, and we need a value that is greater than uh, 68. In standardized is 1.5. And it, we got this from this formula. In the normal distribution table, it corresponded to 0 0.93319. So the, as we need the area of the right side, we, uh, uh, we have to have the all area correspond to 1 minus 0 0.9332. It will correspond to 60.68 percent thank you for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe